Located in the Three Valley ski area at an altitude of 2,300 metres above sea level, Val Turen is the highest ski resort in Europe. Thanks to its 600 connected ski runs, the Three Valley ski area is considered the best in the world. Couple that with the outstanding nightlife and Apres ski scene, and Val Turen is probably the best ski resort in the world. In this video, I'll show you the most important things you need to know before booking a vacation in Val Turen. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I'll give you some great tips that will help you make better decisions and save money. How do you get to Val Turen? The closest airports to Val Turen are Chambéry, Lyon and Geneva. With transfer times of 2 hours, 2 hours and 45 minutes and 3 hours and 15 minutes respectively. But do be aware, French holiday season kicks in on the Saturday of the second week of February and goes on until the second week of March and massive traffic jams may cause transfer times to extend to as long as 8 hours, so planning ahead is vital. If you're coming on the train, the nearest train stop is in the town of Moutier, where you'll need to take a one-hour bus journey to Val Turen. One tip I can share with you is to avoid booking during French holiday season, not least because of the traffic jams mentioned before, but primarily because of accommodation prices, which are much higher. The extra footfall also means that ski school groups are booked up and private instructors are unavailable. In addition, the best nightlife happens before and after holiday season, when the younger crowd tend to book to avoid high prices. Val Turen is the most international ski resort in France, as up to 70% of its visitors are British, Scandinavian or Dutch. Val Turen is built on a south-facing slope and built with a system of lifts, covered bridges and indoor shopping centres. Brilliant to avoid the cold weather, which can plummet to as low as minus 25 degrees in January. The centre of town is home to the main shopping hub, which benefits from a vast on-site sports complex. Above the main shopping centre is a ski run that crosses the village, and above that, along the main street of Rue de Gebrelay, sits the Val Turen Strip, where most of the best Apres ski bars and nightlife attractions are located. Val Turen itself has 150 kilometers of ski runs, which spread over the upper Belleville Valley and the town of Aurel, which actually makes it a fourth secret valley. The runs over Aurel are south-facing, and the runs in Belleville Valley face a north-northwest direction, providing good snow conditions. Overall, there are 9 black runs, 30 red runs, 35 blue runs, and 11 green runs in the ski area of Val Turen. For intermediate to advanced skiers, I recommend buying the Three Valley Ski Pass, which costs €300 Euros for six days and is worth every penny. Take note that the Three Valley Ski Area has a shorter ski season than Val Turen, which spread from around December 10th to April 20th each year. Val Turen has one of the longest ski seasons around, beginning in mid-November and lasting until early May, after the famous Dutch Week Festival. Val Turen offers all the accommodation styles, from basic apartments up to luxurious five-star hotels. By the way, this video was shot on April 15th. As Val Turen is located on a slope, most of the hotels and apartments are ski-in, ski-out, or almost ski-in, ski-out. Usually, you'll begin your skiing day taking one of the small runs inside the village and most of them will eventually lead you to the green-rated rock run, which has beginner's facilities and ski school meeting points. 
The rock run is used as the main artery of Val Turen, and from there you can take ski lifts to almost everywhere in the resort. You could join the Boulevard Kumin ski run all the way to Le Menwir ski resort. The most important lifts to know are Peclet, which will take you to Peclet Glacier, the beginning of the longest toboggan course in France, and to several good ski runs. Plan Sud, which will take you to the Folie du Sapres ski bar, and Three Valleys lift that will take you to the Three Valleys. Moutier, that will take you to the Val Turenne snow park. And Caron, that will take you to Simcaron, one of the largest ski lifts in the world, which can carry more than 150 passengers. Sim Caron will lift you to Sim de Caron Peak at an altitude of 3,200 meters above sea level, giving you access to the most beautiful view in the Alps, according to Michelin Green Guide. After your day of skiing, I recommend skiing to probably the best Apres ski bar in the world, the Folie Douce, just to realise you can't get any higher, higher. You can continue the Apres ski after skiing back to the village on Plan Sud run. Once the party's over, skiing back after a couple of beers with another 500 drunks like you is really quite a thrill. By the way, if you stay on the Upper East Side of Val Turenne, there is a new ski run that goes directly into this area. If you're that way inclined, you can continue the party in the village at the Dutch Apres ski bar Le Monde or the Danish Snesco bar, which has a great cover band show every day. Alternatively, enjoy a quiet drink in O'Connell's, a traditional Irish bar, or catch the football game at Frogs. After 10 o'clock is a great time to go to the Dutch club's snow cafe, and if you still have energy, after 1am is the best time to visit The Summit or Malaysia, the largest club in any ski resort in the world. Val Turenne has a lot to offer other than parties, and there really is almost any Apres ski activity you can imagine. So, before we wrap up, here are our ratings for Val Turenne. For snowboarders, it's a 9. Together with the three valleys, there are endless possibilities for snowboarders. The fact that along the snow park there is a drug lift damages the otherwise amazing 10 score. For skiers of all levels, it's a 9. The fact that the runs in Val Turenne itself are above the tree line make the view a little boring. For freestylers, also a 9. Again, just because of the drug lift in the snow park. For free riders, a perfect 10. Together with the three valleys, there is indeed the largest area of off-piste than anywhere else in the world. For nightlife, another 10. Many packed bars for every taste, where you can party in a packed place with energy from 4pm till 4am every night. Après Ski, it's a 10. The Folly Deuce is the best Apres ski bar in the world today. Resort Charm, 7.5. The absence of trees makes it a little bit boring, but the many chairlifts and little ski runs crossing the village gives it a unique charm all of its own. Our total overall score for Val Turenne sits at a 9, and for young people and party lovers, it's probably the best ski resort in the world today. Our bonus tips for Val Turenne. Because Val Turenne is so high, it takes time for the body to acclimate and you're likely to feel exhausted for the first two days. Our recommendation is not to party hard on these nights, if at all, because you'll have little energy and if you do drink, you will probably suffer quite a harsh hangover. The second tip is not to come to Val Turenne by car, as there are only three designated parking garages that cost 70 euros per week. 
Everything you need is within easy walking distance, and on-street parking will land you a ticket, so it's unlikely you'll need the car for the duration of your visit anyway. If you liked this video, you can watch our videos on Le Menwir and Alpe d'Huez and other ski resorts. You'll make our day if you subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to push the chime on the right, so every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified.